did not put my counterweights on the little thing I use. <laughs> Hold on. Just holding this in place. Okay. This will, I'll finally learn to see how much the long, how long the actual delay is because I have my timer. Let me just click refresh. Mm. Yeah, that's a long delay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Hello everyone. Um, I hope you're having a great night. If you don't know, my name is Brennan and today, well, I assume most of you would know because I'd assume, anyways. <laughs> um, Today I'm going to be using this Build-A-Flower, um, the Cora Louise Peony stamp set. This is from Altenew. Um, I, I haven't used this one recently. I just did a card with a Build-A-Flower, but I haven't used Build-A-Flowers recently before that. So I'm excited. Um, I just want to wait a couple of seconds so people can join, but I'll start getting everything out. Hello. For these, I always just put the die set in the back, except for the exotic tulip. Hi, Michelle, finally. Um, except, because there's one called the exotic tulip build a flower, and that one, the die set, is too large to fit in the back. But also, while I'm waiting for people, why don't I just open it up for some inspiration? Okay, these are fun. Um, I like this one. But I'm going to be using Catherine Pooler ink tonight. So I recently tried out, well, not that recently, but so I think Simon Hurley is my new favorite ink for ink blending, but Catherine Pooler's inks are still the best for layered stamping because they come in like the family groups. So because these three inks go perfectly together and we'll layer stamp perfectly because they're the same shade different hues let's hope that's right hi sarah how was your road trip if you're not still on it i don't think you are but if you're still on it how is it going i wanna hold on will i be able to get you yeah i should be able to get you so what i like to do is okay so i put that in the corner obviously Magnet. Ah, okay. So you're watching, <laughs> you're watching as you're on your way home. I'm just trying to make sure I line that up well. Okay, that'll be good enough. Because I want to try to get two, I'm going to, so basically what I always do is I do multiple, God forbid I like mess up on one or stuff happens to one of them make sure that's all the way in the corner so okay I'm gonna be using Versafine Claire Nocturne Nocturne whatever <laughs> ink the black one because this gives a very crisp edge and it will be dry by the time I stamp all of them I think this will fit for another one okay I really probably don't need to do another stamp but I will there's like a piece of something. Hold on. So how's everyone's night for everyone who's not on a road trip currently? Are you able to be in your craft room crafting along with me or just watching and crafting vicariously through me? <laughs> this is what I do. I flip it. Put it in the corner. Let me see. Do I have a f No. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. That's really annoying. So what I'll do is I'll do three, um, just three pieces of paper. And I have three flowers. That's so annoying. Hi, Sandra. It was funny, on the last live that I did, I had like no regulars and it was all like new people, but it was like the same amount of people, it was funny. <laughs> See, that one's perfect. I don't have to do that again. 
just wish that two would fit on the same page. I should have tried that out beforehand or positioned it in a different way. Oh well. Too late now. Because I want them to be all in the same position so I can just change out the paper. I really should be using the, like, air hockey thingy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not the puck. I don't know what to call it, to be honest. But I really should be using that. But oh well, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this layer. I'm just going to grab a wipe. Yes, Michelle, you do. <laughs> it's a requirement that you stamp along with me. I'll show up on your doorstep in about an hour and a half and be like, do you got your Alta new stamps out? Hmm? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not doxing anyone that I don't know their address already. So everyone else is safe, just Michelle needs to watch out. Okay. This is actually one that I did last night. Okay, so now we're gonna take this layer. I didn't decide what color should I do these. And I don't have red, so no one say red. I do not have red ink pads. I don't buy red ink pads. I have pink and that's it. Well, it's not coloring, Sandra. It's um layering stamps. I'm not actually coloring it. <laughs> this was a um this is another all to new build a flower layering stamp set. I didn't color this. <laughs> Purple. Okay. Actually, the only problem with that is I don't have three purples. Oh, gosh. Okay. My whole tower just almost came coming down. Okay, so what I can do is I can do... Okay, I'm going to list off colors. Orange, pink, blue... Oh, wait. Hold on. I mean, this isn't quite purple, but I mean, it's purple enough. But I did also just do this on the card. Blue. Sarah says blue, so I'll go with blue. Sorry, Michelle. It's just because I did just use these, and these are kind of pinkish, but I don't have a um, set of Catherine Pooler. Or I don't even know. <laughs> do I, I think I'm going to... Wait, I don't even have... What am I thinking? Hold on. Okay, I don't have three of blue either, so we're going with pinkish orange. Um, I think this, whatever this color thing is, I believe it was do si -Do, Coral Cabana, and Samba. We're doing, we're going with this. I'm, I'm taking authority here. <laughs> it's my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm joking. Okay. Oh, uh, gosh. Now I have to do the fun thing of lining this up. So you won't see my head because my head is above the camera. Okay, that's probably as perfect as it's gonna get. So first, I will start with do si -Do, which is the lightest color, and I want to say the orangey red, whatever the, hold on, what is, yellow red. <laughs> no, that's, that's Copic. Uh, oh, gosh, okay. So if you're unfamiliar with Catherine Pooler and Pads, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that coverage is terrible. And I wouldn't disagree with you if I didn't know Catherine Pooler ink pads because, okay, that's not that bad, but like up close, that looks horrible. And the cool thing, I always do it twice, this isn't because of that. The cool thing with Catherine Pouldering pads is that the colors move around and it softens and by the time it dries, it'll look good. And 
And also, it looks significantly better with the second stamp. But, coral. Thank you, Sarah. Um, this will look much smoother when it's dry. Oh, and also, because I can talk about this, I think, um, tomorrow I'm starting a Christmas in July, um, series, and Newton's Nook was very kind and sent the supplies for it, so tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, expect a video, um, Christmas in July, but it's all going to be Newton's Nook supplies, and I'll talk about that in the video. <laughs> Um, I am using the uh, Altenew Build-A-Flower Cora Louise Peony, so this is what it looks like, and, um, this is, like, what it will look like when it's finished. Just a different color. Oh, you know what I can do on the scrap pieces of paper once, um, I can do the leaf, so that'll, that'll be fine. I'll do the, um leaves up here. And I can do two at a time, actually. Perfect. <laughs> Sarah, of course, it had a scrapbooking ornament. <laughs> Where did you go on vacation, Sarah? You're welcome, Sandra. I vaguely remember you said you went to Virginia, Sarah. And if you went to Virginia, was it a store called the Christmas Mouse? I could be entirely wrong. Okay, yeah, I knew you went to Virginia. Was it a store called the Christmas Mouse? Or no, was it some, something different? Okay. Because when I went to Virginia, I went to Williamsburg, but I looked it up before and the store had like multiple locations. It's called, it's called the Christmas Mouse and they had a very large Christmas store, <laughs> and I spent way too much money. Luckily, we were driving, so I could take as much as I wanted back, as much as it would fit. No, we weren't driving the first time, actually. We were taking the plane. So, no, I lied about that. So what we had to do <laughs> was we... Also, just to show you, this is all smoothed out now and looks perfect, and this is still, like, kind of... And these were both stamped only twice. So this is the outcome, just to show you that um, it looks entirely different once it's dry. So we had a, we found a Joann's and we had to get, um, a bubble, there were no, that, ugh, that's sad. Um, we had to get a bubble mailer at Joann's for the ornaments so they didn't break and we had to wrap them all in tissue paper. It was really fun taking 10 ornaments on an airplane. Okay. I will say though, Catherine Pooler, if you don't like staining Catherine Pooler ink pads, are the worst ink pad that I've ever used for staining. They stain so badly, especially the black. The black is a nightmare situation. Your stamps look like nightmares afterwards. Okay, so now we have to go with this layer, A3. Is that right? Yeah. Hi, Mom. These are also very fun to line up. It's... Well, 
lining this up is so much fun. We're going to call this good, good enough. Oh, well. It'll be fine, fine, fine. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Coral Cabana. Once again, Catherine Pooler. Moment of truth. Ugh. Perfect. Okay, that's a little, it's fine, good enough. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, if you haven't hit the like button already, hit the like button, please. I wonder who could have said that. <laughs> Thank you, one person hit the like button. <laughs> Thank you to whoever that person is. Okay, stamp, stamp, stamp. I would love that I'm doing my stamp song without stamping. <laughs> okay, there we go, okay. I saw it all update. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, I, I lined it up like good for once. So I have their snap, if you've ever seen it, there's a Snapdragon one, and that was the hardest one. I did it last night, I was playing with it, I believe. Let me go, oh, my Copic color chart fell, that's fine. Um, so I was playing with this last night. Of course though, I did not line it up perfect, I guess, because the die cut does not want to die cut it. Like this looks fine, but the die cut does not want to die cut it, so I'm gonna try it through my brother's skin and cut. See if it works. Or I can just, I might just turn this one into a card. The other ones have like inky fingerprints on it. So I wouldn't use those for just a card, but that one can't be used for just a card. Okay, here's the second stamp for this one. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, if you think it's so pretty, you should get some other, why did I just wipe that off? I have to do it one more time. Oh, well gonna get all the ink off and then rub my hand over to dry it. Sarah, you should get some stamps that aren't just Lawn Fawn. <laughs> well, I don't think you really like working with, flower with flowers though, Sarah, if I remember correctly. Like, you don't hate them, but... <laughs> you need... <laughs> You need more stamps, Sarah. That's the only answer. That's the thing that will solve all your scrapbooking problems. It will get your wedding album into one album instead of three. Oh, who's that three? <laughs> okay. So now, put this away. And the next ink I'll be using is Samba. If you guys have Catherine Pooler inks, do you guys have the spa colors? I only have the party right now, and I don't think I'm, I'm going to look at some of the spa colors. Like, there's the blue one that has, like, juniper in it that I'd want. But besides that, I think maybe the purples too, but besides that, eh, I think they're okay. I don't need, need them. I'd rather work on Simon Early inks. Oh, shush, Mom.
But you're not getting all of them, Michelle, right? I vaguely remember you saying that. How does this line up? Thank God for the layering guide. Okay, where does this go? Okay. Okay. I know I'm not in frame. One second. Sorry. Okay. Back in frame. I feel like this is so wrong. Where is that? Okay. Eh? Estoy confundindo. Ah. Nope. So, mom, stop. Uh, oh, oh, no. Um, <laughs> where does it, okay, it says to line it up in the center, but it's not really clear on what they're, ugh. This is, I don't think we're getting this third note. We will, but where do I line this thing up? Okay. I need to look at like, just looking. So the top one, okay. So this guy. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, that was the issue. I've been stamping this entire thing upside down. <laughs> so it, it lined up fine. It's just that I was having a hard time lining this up because I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> uh, of course I was. And now it all magically lines up. When in doubt, flip your stamp set around. Okay. Yay! Okay, it's lined up. Perfect. BN. Okay. Put that one off to the side because we got two more to do. Thanks, Sarah. Exactly, Mom, so I need more of them, because they're so cool, as you just said. So now I need to, <laughs> did you order the like new one that came out with my favorite things? The like, does, 
the, uh, or did you get or one of the three new ones from My Favorite Things, or did you um order like old ones from, from Vanessa? And which one did you order? <laughs> the most important question. Ah. <laughs> I haven't seen that, Sarah, but it's Heidi Swap, so I'm sure it's good. <laughs> okay, so now we have to do this little one, A5. Ah, okay. I mean, you could probably get it off of eBay. I'd assume there's probably people on there that sell it. Ah, craft, okay, I know exactly what set that is, but <laughs> Michelle, I don't have it, but I know what set it is. Oop, that just shifted. Sarah, I think that only means one thing, that you have to subscribe to the, um, her stamp club, or whatever it is. <laughs> you have, oh, your collection. Do you mean your clearly bizotic collection, or all your stamps? Because if it's all your stamps, I have more bins than you. <laughs> if it's just clearly bizotic, then you have way more stamps than I do. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna do one yellow layer. Two yellow layers is way too much work. Oh, two bins of clearly it's not a Jeez Louise. I just got pink on my desk, but it's fine. I'll clean it up later. Or orange. Coral. I got coral ink on my desk. So all these are stamped out. So now, on to the leaves. <sighs> okay. I will survive. Hey, hey, hey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the leaves in, like, this open space. Um, then I'll so I cut them all out. Okay. White. leaves two different let's well, I mean it's kind of three leaves but like two groups of leaves I'll call it so I'll just do them both at the same time to save time mm -hmm. let's stamp these ones upright this time Trying to just get them far enough apart so I'll be able to die cut them all at the same time. Also, so in a group chat today that I'm in, it's for the um, Crushing Christmas Cards Instagram hop that I post. Someone was like, oh yeah, they're like techniques from like 20 years ago that I haven't... I might have more than you, Michelle. I should count. Um, do I, I probably don't have more than you. I have a decent amount. They're like, oh yeah, there's like techniques that are like 20, 30 years old that I haven't used in a while. But I, when I find them again, I'm like, maybe I should make a video of techniques that are older than I am trying techniques. So 
if you have, if anyone has any ideas of techniques that would be older than I am, if you've been crafting for a while and you've been doing them for a while, please share. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sarah, should I get the Spellbinders letterpress? It's practically the same thing. Um, I have no idea, Mom. I, I, I just, I, Michelle has a catalog system online that tells her, oh, I did not get a good impression there, that tells her the exact amount. I started it about in probably January, but only got through flowers and I have not added to it. So, then it was, I had 40 flowers, but I'm up to two flower bins, so it's probably around 50 flowers. So I'd say probably 150 to 200 stamp sets. You got probably less, actually. You got, yeah, definitely less. It's just five. I have five stamp sets, Mom, obviously. I only got five, so I need more. I mean, okay, so, yeah, they don't teach cursive in Massachusetts either, but, um, my third grade teacher taught it to me, or taught it to us in, like, the last, oh, she showed you, of course she showed you, um, my third grade teacher taught it to us in the last, like, couple of weeks when you're not doing anything, especially in elementary school when you're not doing anything, um, and, like, I could write in cursive for a while, but I kind of stopped writing in cursive, so don't remember anything but my name. I know how to sign my name. And I know how to, cool. Um, I know how to sign my name and I know how to read it. I can read cursive, I just can't read it. And I know a lot of people can't even read cursive. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this one up now, just so it stays in this exact place that it needs to be. Cause like, I feel like I'd accidentally hit it when placing this one. You, yeah, sure, mm -hmm, totally. You never taught me cursive, but okay. Mom's in like a state of Delulu. Okay, see, I don't have good green for leaves. Because, oh wait, what's in here? I can't get these out. Okay, stand by. Oh, that can't go back far. This could end very badly, everyone, so. Yeah. Yeah, those are. I don't got good green, or like. Okay, so there's the garden party, grass skirt, and martini. Martini is technically not in this color family anymore. This is like a yellow, it's something different now. But these were all in their thing. But there's something in between garden party and grass skirt. And then there's something in between grass skirt and martini. So these don't work well. So I think I'm just going to go with, okay, it's only two colors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go with, in the park and Mardi Gras. Not the best, but it's what I have and I'm gonna work with it. So we're gonna go with an in the park first because this is the lighter of the shades or the pads, whatever. Oh, I just got that all on my finger. Oh well. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. And we'll go one more time. 
And then I'll probably only do the Mardi Gras once, just so it's not too dark and overwhelming. And I should probably do like a li very light background because this is gonna be dark because the coral's not that, I mean, it's not that dark, but the green's gonna be dark, so. What color should I do for the background? Someone use color theory real quick. I got orange, well, we'll just say orange, even if it's coral, but I got orange and green. What color goes good with orange and green? I would say blue because blue is the opposite of orange on the color wheel. And it's also a cool color, so it would match with the green as well. But what do you think? Because I kind of don't want to do blue, so. What's opposite of green on the color wheel? Red, I don't want to do red as a background. <laughs> See, yeah, blue is always the right answer, but I kind of don't want to do blue. <laughs> um, purple, purple is also a cool color, so that would go with the orange. And then purple is also, See, yellow, eh, I don't think the yellow would go good with the green, though, because they got, like, nothing in common. And I know there's, a, like, a little spot of yellow in here, but that has to be there. <laughs> because, like, for purple, purple is made of blue, so it's kind of... Is green, purple, and orange a triad? <laughs> Y'all might think I'm making stuff up, but I want to say, let me pull up a color wheel image on my computer so I can look at it real quick. <laughs> um, color wheel. Y'all are going to be fine because it's my computer. I'm just looking at a color wheel. Y'all can't see it, but if it loads. Okay, it's loading. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right, kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of. Okay. Oh, no, it is an exact try. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do, um... Okay, I'm probably going to do with purple because I was right. I know my color theory, y'all. Green, orange, and purple are a triad on the color wheel, which means... It, it forms a triangle, which means they all work well together. Ha! I know color theory, kind of. I don't know color theory. Don't quote me on that. Well, I mean, I can... Look at how stained this is now. This was, like, not stained at all. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. It's still very much usable. Who cares about stained stamps? See, there are some people... Do any of you guys care about stained stamps or yellowed stamps? I don't care if the stamp is, like so stained that you can't even see through it. Um, well, I mean, I kind of just care about that. But I don't care if it's, like, very dark stain. What's your opinion on staining and yellowing? Oh, don't worry, Sarah. Thank you for joining, and if you're able to, maybe I'll see you again if you get the connection back. See, I don't care about it at all. It does not affect me. Because if it doesn't affect the performance of the stamp, it doesn't really matter to me. Staining doesn't mean they're loved. Sorry, y'all. This one's a pain to line up. Yeah, 
exactly. I th there are some people whose staining does matter too, but like, I don't really get why. Is this like not... Okay, we're gonna do this one to make sure I'm not going crazy or something. See, I can line up stamps fine. It's just that one that's causing me problems. Okay, as I did before, I'm just gonna grab the, that's not lined up properly. Okay, stamp. Okay, let's give this one another go. We're just gonna go with that, even though I don't think it's like perfect. <laughs> it's all in the green, but it'll be okay. Have a good night too, Sarah and have fun on the rest of your, whatever's left of your road trip in a couple hours. <laughs> oh, okay. I was misunderstanding what that was looking like. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay. I was, the, the, I was misunderstanding the shape of the stamp. I thought it was the opposite of this. I thought this was filled in and that was the, okay. It's fine. Crisis avert it. Looks great. <laughs> also, if you haven't liked the video yet, it would mean so much if you could like it. Assuming you're enjoying the video. If you're not, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you, I saw the like counter go up, so thank you all. Now the part that's gonna be slightly hard with this die cutting. Um, I'll do it on my disc, but y'all probably